What's up, everybody? This is the MOBC, my own boxing community. You know, boxing is fading and slowly going away right in front of our eyes, and we don't even see it. And I'm looking around at the YTBC. You know, the YTBC, you guys aren't any help. You know, I, I see a lot of channels out there who claim they are the true promoters of fights and they're the ones who's keeping boxing alive because they talk, they talk boxing. But a lot of you guys are actually part of the problem. You guys are really part of the problem. And, that, and that's a whole separate video. But I really want to speak on why boxing is, is, is a dying sport. And, and, the, and you boxing fans, you diehard boxing fans, you guys don't see it. I mean, I, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, you got, you had a whole undisputed fight, an undisputed champion. Devin Haney fight, what, a very skilled, popular fighter, Lomachenko, undisputed matchup. Defending his undisputed title. Haney defending his undisputed title. And it barely sold pay-per-view. It didn't even sell as good as Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. Which was a fight that had held no significance whatsoever. And even though it sold a lot of pay-per-views, which... I think those numbers are a lie. But even though it sold a lot of pay-per-views, fights like that is not going to save the sport of boxing. It's not. Back in the days, back in the days, boxing was the biggest sport when it comes to combat. Boxing was the number one sport. You knew who the heavyweight champion was. You knew who the welterweight champion was. You knew who the lightweight champion was. The middleweight champion. At least, for the most part, all of the more popular weight classes, you knew who the champion was, whether you were a diehard boxing fan or a casual fan. We live in a time now where it should be easier to even promote boxing with social media. And I'll get to that, social media, and why social media is also part of the problem and why boxing is dying. We live in a world where fans can actually interact and communicate with these fighters. And yet they are not popular. You could go down the block. The heavy, everyone knew who the heavyweight champion was. You knew Mike Tyson. You say Mike Tyson, everyone knows who he is. Muhammad Ali, they know who he is. Evander Holyfield, they know who he is. You can't even say that today. Everyone knew who Julio Cesar Chavez was when he was the lightweight champion. No one does... They don't even know who Devin Haney is. And I'm going to I'm going to show you guys something right because in the back in the days so again, again let me say this again let me let me reiterate what I'm trying to say. Let me reiterate what I'm trying to explain. Back in the days boxing was the number one combat sport. And there wasn't social media. And there wasn't the amount of TV channels and access to other channels as it was before. To compete with like mu Muay Thai and kickboxing and the karate tournaments and all that. Th those were around, but they weren't as popular as boxing. It, it just wasn't. And it's not because one sport is better than the other. It just, it's just, it just wasn't. Boxing... Is the was the biggest combat sport. And then today, boxing has to compete 
with so many other sports, combat sports. And it's 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 going on right in front of your face, especially with MMA constantly. And me repeat myself constantly. Degrading the sport of boxing. And none of you boxers and boxing fans are doing what you're supposed to do to defend the sport against the MMA organizations out there who were trying to eliminate the sport of boxing. They're trying to eliminate the sport of boxing. They purposely have their fighters downgrade the, 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 the art of boxing, making it seem like it isn't, it, it is a useless art for self-defense. They're making it seem like MMA is they 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 always constantly challenge boxers to go into the ring, go into the cage, go into the octagon. And none of you boxers are challenging them to say, no, I don't want to go in the cage. I'm a boxer. You come in the boxing ring and you fight me man to man with these fists. You got ultimate fighting. Bellator. You got an organization called ACA, your absolute champion. You got Fight Nights Global, one championship, Risen Fighting Federation, Invictica Fighting Championships. You got bare knuckle boxing coming into play. Kickboxing, you can watch kickboxing now on social media. You can watch Muay Thai boxing now on social media. YouTube street boxing, European bare knuckle fighting. Then you got jujitsu tournaments that you, you would never be able to see unless you went to a, a, a knew about it. And then you, there was no way to get access to a jujitsu tournament unless you knew about it, knew a friend or whatever. Now you can look at it on social media. You got YouTube boxing. You got reality stars boxing. Then you got the circus show exhibit, exhibition fights with so-called greatest of all time putting on clown shows just to get extra attention for himself because it doesn't bring any attention to the sport of boxing. We live in a sad time where a YouTuber is making more money and more popularity than the actual professional boxer who, who fought in the amateurs, who fought in golden gloves, amateurs, whatever, went through the trenches to become a professional. And they're not as popular as a damn YouTuber. You got... I mean, it's, it, boxing is turning into a big circus and you guys don't see it. You got females doing OnlyFans, female boxers doing OnlyFans, promoting themselves on OnlyFans and mixing it with boxing. And that is embarrassing. It is embarrassing when you have Clarissa Shields out there, a, 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 a real undisputed female champion. That a lot of you racists want to call unattractive when she's attractive to me and mostly every other uh, 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 black male out there. You got females promoting OnlyFans getting more popularity than a real undisputed female boxing champion. And this... This is, it, 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 it's mind-blowing. I mean, you got all these other fighting organizations that boxing have to compete with. Compete with. And then you have streaming sites where a lot of you guys, boxing fans out there, are streaming the fights. And I get it. Trust me, I understand completely why you stream it. Trust me, <laughs> I understand why you stream it. Because it goes back to what I'm saying. The boxing isn't giving us what we want. You guys are excited that Spence and Crawford is fighting. I'm excited too. 
But I'm not, I'm not raising the pawn-pawns. I'm not cheerleading for this fight because one guy is 35 going on 36 and the other guy is 33. Don't tell me these two guys are in their prime. One is on his third weight class and the other one is coming from a car accident from having a drinking problem. Don't tell me these two guys are in their prime and this is a fight that's going to save boxing. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't tell me that Anthony Joshua and Wilder are finally going to fight in November or whatever and that's supposed to save boxing when both of these guys are past their prime. How long is this going to continue in boxing? I don't want to see Devin Haney and Shakur fight at 147 pounds. They need to fight at 135 pounds. And all you boxing fans out there and you silly clown YouTube channels out there, you're no help with your little stupid debates. Acting like y'all know so much about boxing. I listen sometimes, cracks me up. I listen to some of these guys come out of nowhere talking about boxing, giving their opinions on past fighters. Can't even name the opponents that their opponents fought. Cracks me up. All these wannabe fake historians on the YouTube boxing community. All of a sudden now we got historians popping out of nowhere. When the real know the real. We know who the real uh, uh, historians are in this, in this game. But all you guys in the YouTube box community, you guys aren't helping at all. I'm seeing two, three, and four hour lives. I look, I don't watch it. But I look two and three, four hours live uh, uh, of talking about Ryan Garcia. I, I, there's people out there two hour live talking about Jake Paul, the YouTuber. You guys are boxing fans? I just gave you guys a list of other fighting organizations that is attracting the attention of fans who like the combat sports. <clears throat> and you have MMA promoters downplaying and degrading the sport of boxing on purpose just to promote their own sport. And you can't even get none of these promoters or boxers to do the same. To keep boxing alive is the oldest combat sport. Back in the days, the best fought the best or at least tried to get to the best. Some of them just couldn't get to the best, but they fought all that they could to get to the best. That is what boxing supposed to be. And that's not what I'm seeing today. You're not an undisputed champion. If your last fight was in 2021, Charlo. Spence on a 15-month layoff. We got fighters back in the days fighting seven, eight, nine, ten times within two months. And we can't get you guys to fight once every year. This, the, this sport is slowly fading away and you guys out there aren't doing anything about it. Instead, you, especially the YTBC, you guys are all arguing who purse bids and A side, B side, A side and B side. I'm hearing YouTubers talk about A side and B side when I know all y'all got F's in school. You shouldn't even speak on A's and B's. I hear the word, which are, you guys are, unart you guys are unarticulate, okay? You, you guys... Have, can't speak whatsoever. Ignorant. Some of you guys sound ignorant. Talking about A side and B side. I mean, it's 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 
It's pure comedy. But this is what boxing is today. One big joke. And you guys are allowing it. The boxing fans, the di- the true diehard boxing fans, and there isn't too many of us. But a lot of the diehard boxing fans are slowly going on to the same route as the casuals. I see it. I see it. I shouldn't see respectable channels having debates with Jimmy Choo Choo from down the block who got one subscriber. I shouldn't see a, 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 um, a respectable channel who knows their craft having a debate with David Dum Dum about best career and who's the A side and who's the B side and who's the GOAT and who's the greatest of all time. That doesn't do anything to save the sport of boxing. What you guys need to do is start calling these fighters out and, and, and demand these guys to fight or we won't buy these fights. Or we or we will continue to stream these fights. Why should I support the boxing, the fighters and the and these boxing promotions when they're not giving us what we want? Do you want to go to McDonald's and buy a, 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 a Big Mac and come back with a vegan burger? Y'all need to wake up out there because MMA is slowly taking over. And once UFC and Bellator and all these other U- MMA organizations combine, once they be turn into one big organization, I could tell you right now, boxing is going to slowly, slowly fade away. And sooner or later, boxing is just going to be that one box sport. Oh, boxing coming on, whatever. Oh, who fighting? Uh, we could go. We could go watch the champion in the MMA. Yeah, I know them before. You know that's how it's going to be. Anyway, this is the MOBC. Please uh, leave your comments. Tell me.